Hello everyone. Today we will be painting a waterscape. So let's start with the painting. First I will make a horizon line and then I will apply water all over the surface over here. You can use a bigger brush if you want. This one is quite convenient for me. Now just add some blue color like this and make sure that you imitate the clouds that are there in the white area, okay? Some dark color to show the shadows of the clouds like here. Now, right now the paper is already drying and I can shape it into any direction that I want. Now I'll add some perspective here. I'm using green color for light and for the dark. Now just allow it to dry, okay? Now we will start adding water, like water waves, okay? First of all, we'll just using blue color, mix a little bit of uh, brown in it so that it looks more mature. Now, let's start adding like this. The one that are far, they will be like, you know, very close to each other. Make sure of that, okay? And this is just the first layer, so it will be very watery, very light in color. Some here. Now we need to dry this out and then we will add another layer of water here. So using a hair I'll a hair dryer, I'll dry this out entire thing.
okay so we are done now what we are going to do is we are going to add a boat here we will add a boat we will add few birds and then we will work further on the water thing okay let's make a beautiful boat over here Now with the water, just spread this thing. Just a little impression that yeah, someone is sitting there, maybe. Now let's add the reflections here. The water is green in color. Okay, before we add ref reflections, we need to add another layer of water here. Something beside here. And something over here also. Reflection of the green that is there in the background. Then few more water thing here. Like this. Now again, we'll wait for it to dry and then we'll start adding reflections here. Okay. 
can add some color here also. Just a little bit of it. Now let's add some birds here. Now I'll again take vermilion color, add it here. Some orange color. I also have some pink here. That's it. Now the paper is almost dry and ready for reflections. So I'll start adding reflections here now. Now some shadows here on the board. And that's it. This is our first painting, you can see. And let's try this off quickly and we can start with another painting because we have time. So we can paint a quick waterscape. This was wet on dry. Next we can paint wet on wet.
Okay, so let's start with another painting. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, first, let's just add something on the sky. This will be very loose and very fast artwork. Now let's add color to the water. This blue. It is again said. I think I chose. Uh, I accidentally used a for French ultramarine. That is why it is so sedimenting type. Otherwise, it would have been good. But anyways, I'll just add some clouds over here. Hmm. There are no blue skies here. It's quite gray. Let's start with this. <laughs> okay, let's start adding the waves, water waves. Make sure that you have more of pigment and less of water here for this step, for this particular step. Otherwise, your painting will come out to be quite, like, not very accurate. Like, the waves will not stay. They will just flow because it's water, you know. I started from the bottom. I should have started from here. Let's pick up some paint from here and there. Let's just dry this off and we can start with another work. I mean, we can proceed with this. I meant that. I'm adding some dark color here that I think will suit it.
Aye, half the snap. Now let's add a boat here. Something at a distance. This will be vector. I will not go into details here. Very carefully using a small brush, add the reflections. Then again, we will use our technique to add some details over here because this is our main because this is our main focal point where we are paying all the emphasis of the painting Just change the color of the waves and you are good to go. Anyone, any questions, anything you want to ask? Let's add another person over here. And that's it. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. We'll meet again uh, next week for another class.
till then bye bye take care and do practice this painting and let me know uh, how like do you like it or anything you want me to improve in this one so bye bye take care everyone